much for this time tonight. And Lord, we just pray that above everything that you might be lifted up. And Lord, that, that through your word, as you're lifted up, you'll draw all men unto yourself. Lord, we expect great things because you told us, Matthew 18, chapter 20, that when two or three are gathered together in your name, that you're right there in the midst. Lord, we know you're in our midst tonight, and we just look to you. And Lord, help us to be attentive to your Holy Spirit. We'll ask it in your name. Amen. Amen. Brother, you got one to start off with? Well, uh, let's see here. Randy, hang on just a second. Let's see what I can come up with. Mm -hmm. story with this show. <laughs> Not a long story, but just a little bit of story. Oh. Well, now this is, you know, some always preface. I always want to tell something that's unique. When you're telling the truth, you want to point out this is a unique happening, but it is the truth. I was, my wife was going to go over to the cemetery to walk. Her name is June Guyman Stevenson. Smartest move I ever made, as Randy will vouch for. And uh, anyway, uh, uh, she said, well, I'll, I'll ride over with you and sit in the car while you walk. And so she took off a walk, and I said, it might give me an inspiration to walk a little bit, too. <laughs> so I did get out and walk just a little bit and sit on the bench. And then I got back in the car after we left there, and she walked her two miles, 10,000 some odd steps a day she does. Most I've ever got so far is 3,000, and that about killed me. So anyway, uh, I decided that when I got back in the car, Randy, I saw that statue out there of Jesus, and I thought about, well, how neat. So I set my camera up, just like I'm doing right here. I'm not sure I'm even getting anything at the rest of the Lord and hope I'm getting something. But uh, anyway, I set my camera up in the window, focused on that statue of Jesus, and I thought about where I was saved in 1956 at a Billy Graham crusade. And uh, keep in mind now, this is all before the day before he passed away. And I was sitting there thinking about the men that I rode with down to see that Billy Graham crusade. Vernon Likens, Mr. Kobe, Walter Roden, and John Grizzell. The minister was Mr. Kerger and his wife Polly. Kerger, the little one-room Baptist church called Kenton Station out in Kenton, Kentucky. So I put all that on the film, and then I sang a special song there that is a very important song because we're saved by grace. Uh, not by our works, but by, our, by grace. And God saved us with, by grace by his son dying on the cross. So I sang that song and one other one that I learned on that crusade when I gave my life to the Lord, and that was I'd rather have Jesus. And I've been singing that song, I'd rather have Jesus, ever since 1956, to political groups, to counties, everywhere I can sing it. And uh, so tonight I'd like to sing those two for you, if that's okay, Randy. One is the old, on a hill, the old rugged cross. I don't know if we'll be on the right key together or not, but we can try it. On a, on a, see, is that about right? <coughs> on a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the tears stand best for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I'll cherish the 
old rugged cross Peel my trophies At last I lay down I will cling To the old rugged cross And exchange it someday For a crown Now if any of you know the words You should sing along with me Sing along with me. Oh, that old rugged cross, so despised by the world, has a wondrous attraction for me. For the dear Lamb of God left his glory above to bear dark Calvary so I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I lay down I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown in the old rugged cross stained with blood so divine a wondrous beauty I see for the dear Lamb of God left his glory above to part Sanctify me So I'll cherish The old rugged cross Till my trophies At last I lay down I will cling To the old rugged cross <coughs> And exchange it someday Far around. Now, fellas, that old cross is very emblematic of our lives. Because it was on that cross that Jesus gave us for all of us, for all of our sins. Regardless of what they've been and what they are, we have to really realize that that was the gift from God to us as human beings. You know, when Adam and Eve sinned, and the country went to sin, God knew that he had to do something special to forgive us with grace of his son. And so he did. And that's the reason that I sang this song. And the reason I say I sang the other one, a verse of that and that's, I'd rather have Jesus. I'd rather have Jesus than silver or gold. I'd rather be his than ever riches untold. I'd rather have Jesus that houses or lands I'd rather be led by his nail-pierced hand than to be the king of a vast domain and be held in sin's dread sway Have Jesus than anything this world affords today. <laughs> and you know, one of the simplest things to do in life is to reach down, open a door. But the door when Jesus knocks on. Door. There's no knob on the 
outside. He can't open the door. He can knock on it. It's his job to convict. The Holy Spirit's job to convict. It's God's job to judge. It's my job to love you. To love you. And that's what Billy Graham said on television one time. It's the Holy Spirit's job to convict. It's God's job to judge. It's his job, my job, your job, to love. Regardless of your faith, regardless of the color of your skin, regardless of your ethnicity, everybody is to love. You know, when you feel that pulse, that pulse is beating in your arm, or in your leg, or your neck, that pulse knows none of those things. It just knows it's a gift of life gift of love, the greatest gift God can give us. So when he does knock on your heart's door, it's your job to reach down, turn the knob, and say, come on in, Jesus. Make a U-turn in life. A U-turn in life. As best you can. It won't be perfect. None of us are perfect. Randy's not perfect. I'm not perfect. None of us are perfect. But we can strive and know that Jesus in our heart. And we can have faith. Faith in the grain of a mustard seed. That's really what it's all about. Regardless of who you are, what you are. I want you to know tonight, I love you. I love being here with you. I left three ladies out of this bed, this village, Randy. And my brother-in-law, who's going to be 92. And the other ladies were 93 and... 92, three of them. I said, can I take a picture of you? And I said, I, I want to have you in my mind. And I told them about coming down here and singing to you all tonight. I said, I want to know that there's three people tonight out there to Baptist Village that are praying for you all. All the circumstances in your life, I don't know what they are or what they aren't. But I know this, nothing's more powerful than Jesus. Nothing's more powerful than Jesus. So know this tonight. Those three ladies out there love you, and I love you, and Randy loves you. Randy, would you like to sing one, play one? <coughs> okay. I had the privilege uh, last uh, year to go down to Pippa Passes, Kentucky, down toward High Point. Uh, southeastern Kentucky, way up in the hills. Uh, college, uh, Alice Lloyd College, it was founded by a Christian lady. And they uh, had a wonderful time with the students there, and, uh, talking music and talking about the Lord, and just really enjoyed it. I was wondering if I was going to get there, though. My wife says I only know how to get a few places, and that's home and to work and to head. And I said, where else is there? You don't have to worry about anywhere else. You never know how to get there. Uh, but 